Worksheet six, we didn't quite finish. Worksheet seven is super good practice for the quiz. Loss, I gave you a fake quiz, right? I gave you a worksheet that looks like the quiz for the first time all year. Um, so where would you like me to start today? Okay, finish six up, got it. Okay, um, that's actually this, okay. Uh, I, did we, these weren't assigned, can we just do the, I don't think you have these even, but this is a good warm up. Can we just look up here real quick and tell me how to make my tablet work? Would be the usual craziness. Come on, please don't be this way. All right, there we go. Loves me again. Okay. Um, when I look at this in my head, I have to think six to some power equals what? What is that? Okay, it's currently the cubed root of 36, which is... uh six squared and the cubed root which is really six squared to the one third so you guys are way ahead of me who are telling me two thirds so the little box has to be two thirds okay i it's probably not one that hard on the quiz but it's good practice it looks worse yeah for sure um this is a basic property, yes? That really means log base e of e, which really means e to what power equals e, so it's just one. So what can we do to use that property here? Yeah, can we move the nine out in front? And there was a four out in front of this one, and we can move the three out there, right? And then this ln of e business is just one. So we have nine plus 12 is 21 maybe. I would mess up on the last step without a calculator, right? Because you don't get a calculator at all tomorrow, reminder. Okay, this was one from yesterday, but I didn't know if we needed to revisit. This is about as hard as they get tomorrow without a calculator. We good or not? Okay. 2 to what power is 8? Okay, and there was a 3 out front. 2 to what power is 4? So we end up, um, that's 9 sometimes. 19? Show all your work. Because if you do like me and put 6 here or something, then I can just either give you a four or pretend you didn't make that silly mistake because you really understand the log concepts, right? This is really about the log concepts. Okay. Um, one more of those. Three to what power is 27? So we had a two times three plus three to what power is one third? Everybody okay? So six minus four is two. All right, I was just trying to review some that are really like the ones on the quiz. Um, let's go to the ones we left off with yesterday. Okay, can anybody review change of base real quick? Do you remember? Yes, log of the big number over log of the base, which goes in the basement, okay? this. Why do we do this? Yeah, because back in the day, the calculator didn't do anything but base 10 or base E. Okay, now they've programmed it into your calculator so that it will do this, right? Awesome. But guess what the calculator is really doing? Behind the scenes, it's doing this because they didn't program all of the different bases possible into your calculator. They just programmed it to do this. Okay, so... um. 
this will give you the answer for this, or you can go to this on your calculator, which is under math, menu, blah, blah, blah. But you can't use calculator tomorrow, so it's not on the quiz, so let's move on. Uh, and by the way, did we make it clear yesterday that it doesn't matter if you use LOG or LN as long as you do the same thing top and bottom? Did I remember to show you that those were equivalent? Okay. Because you're taking the log of both of them, as long as you use the same base when you use the change of base, so this is base E and this is base 10, as long as you do the same thing top and bottom, it's fine. Remember, I'm getting too far into this now, but if I rewrote this, Remember, it's 11 to some power equals 47. And then you can take the LOG of both sides or the LN of both sides, as long as you're doing the same thing to both sides. And then it will be rewritten X or my box. And so then when I, uh, just kidding. Then when I divide, I get down to this. That's where it came from. All right, moving on to what's actually on the quiz. Anybody want to try nine? Okay, what do you think about Isaac's answer? Reagan, tell me what your question was going to be. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. Okay, number 10. Those square brackets are bothering me. I don't really think we need them there. As long as we understand that all of this is multiplied and it's the, all of it applies the log, right? That's all they were doing there. They're just bothering me. Anybody want to try this? What do you think, guys? Okay, I'm okay with this. I don't think I would ask one like this. Can we actually expand this? Because it's a multiplication. So we could do three, the three still out there. Log base two of what? Two, and then the times would become plus log base two of x plus, and then we have this mess back here. Anybody know how we could simplify it even further? Yeah, this is one, log base two of two. So I suppose if we distributed that three, we'd have three plus three log base two of x plus log base two of x plus one. Now, why did that work? Well, this is really 8x cubed, right? And guess what the log base 2 of 8 is? 3. And x cubed was 3 log base 2 of x, right? So it, that, this is why I wouldn't put that on the quiz, because there's so many different ways you could deal with that problem, right? All right, who's got 11? Anybody? Mm, no. What what's wrong with what he said? Okay. The four only goes to what? The X on this one. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um Ariana, you wanna go over I don't know who who was talking, so somebody pick. I think that's a three, so the exponent would be one third. There you go. Okay. Can I do something more with this seven x minus three? No. Good. Good choice. Um. I'm sure it drives some of you nuts. I can't figure out why sometimes my pen wants to make L like this and sometimes like this, and I just, I apologize. 
I can't seem to make them all the same every time, and I'm sure it drives some of you nuts. All right, number 12. Whoa, anybody want to try to condense 12? Condense means I'm only supposed to write LN once. Oh, there was a Y there. Thank you. Oh, and this is a Y. Apparently, I'm not seeing Ys today. I don't know. <laughs> All right, 13. Oh, I, I was thinking maybe we could evaluate that, but we can't, right? Could someone shut that? Um, anybody? Eight x that seems right over wow i think i need to give you 30 seconds to try 14 and 15 because i think just listening to someone else isn't as helpful somebody want to read me what they wrote for 14. Okay, so I didn't write that very well. And it's okay to leave the radical in the denominator in a situation like this, because they're just asking us to condense it. Let's see, 3y over, I might have put the z squared out in front, just, well, then it's confusing with the cube. Anyway, something like that. Are we good? Yeah, we're not good. <laughs> this is plus. And the plus always means it goes in the numerator in a situation like that. Um, because I could re, let me explain it another way. I could move that plus to the front if I wanted, right? Because I can add any order. The only thing that goes in the denominator is this one. All right. So thank you guys for, I might have counted eventually, but all right. So let's back up. And what should we say here? Okay, 3y, right, from here. And then a z squared, all in the numerator, over the cube root of x. I didn't write that cube root very well, but everybody okay? Okay. Oh, this one has a parenthesis. So who's got this one? Go ahead, Michael. What does plus become? There we go. Over what again? I'm sorry. Oh, that's weird. Because that really simplifies, right? Because right here, log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of x is the same as the fact that those are going to drop out. I, I probably on a quiz would have had different letter there so that it didn't confuse you. But this one would be y over z cubed if we really wanted to simplify it down. All right. 16 is an application. It's going backwards. Um, it says to use here I sub zero for the in, uh, intensity um, sub zero down here of one. The intensity, okay, is what we're finding. So this is R. So 6.7 equals log base 10 of i which we don't know over i sub zero which they say to call it one okay how can we work this is nothing but how can we work backwards to find the intensity yes rewrite this as an exponent sentence and it becomes 10 to the 6.7 okay which is a really ginormous number. Can I just leave it 10 to the 6.7? By the way, that doesn't just add six or seven zeros, right? 
when you do that 6.7 thing, it's a big mess. Okay, and on this one, what are we going to get? 7.1 equals log base 10 of i becomes... Oh, 7.1. I don't know why. Um, is it weird that they even bothered to put the base 10 there? Usually we don't do that, right? All right. Can you just cross out number 17? It said to rewrite it using properties of logs. The only thing you can do is move the darn n out in front. It's just a silly question. Yeah, it's not on a tester quiz. All right, guys, where do you want me to go next? Quiz preview? Okay. Okay, remember I said, I said I wasn't going over every question unless you ask. So what do you have questions on? Number five. Okay, guys. Can we do number one first? Just so that we get the idea that they're inverses and kind of think about how they fit. Okay. Um, three ordered pairs. And guys, if you don't want to label them on your here, just write them somewhere and I'll find them. But you should have three ordered pairs. Um, four to the X and X. What are we doing? One would be four. Okay. Um, does two fit on this graph paper? No. No, we'd be at 16. So mm -hmm. this one is really steep. 1, 4, 0, 1, negative 1, 1 fourth. So what do you think we should be careful we do on this question? We should try not to hit the x-axis, but we should also make sure we have an arrow on both ends to show me. Because if you had a calculator, it would probably look like this stopped, right? And mm -hmm. it doesn't. All right, domain and range. Can't be zero, right? Gonna have a soft parenthesis. Asymptote. X axis or Y equals zero. Nobody's gonna write X equals zero, right? Intercepts. Okay. Let's go to five. Now I'm not super happy with five because i don't think there's one with a stretch on the quiz okay so let's just pretend for a minute that it doesn't and then we'll worry about the stretch but if it just said like one of the versions of the quiz does say this how would you think about that two to the y equals x now um, my choice is to plug in the numbers for y and find x and then graph them as x, y ordered pairs. I used to teach it, rewrite it as an inverse, and find your ordered pairs. The inverse would switch the x and y, right? But when you do that, then what do you have to do to all your ordered pairs before you graph it? Switch them back. And everybody got confused. So if we just pick numbers for the y, I think we'll be good. If we put in a 1, down into this equation over here, we get out a 2. Yes. I, I said we're just going to do that in a second. Yep, you're right. We got to revisit that. Yep. I was just leaving it because there's not one on the quiz that way, so I, we'll do it in a second. Um, put in a 2, guys. Can we put in a 3? 2 cubed is 8. Okay, but what else? We need some intercepty kind of numbers like zero. 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, negative 1, 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. Okay, now what was wrong with this whole thing was there was a 2 on the whole thing, right? What would that stretch? Yep. 
Is the two on the a vertical or horizontal stretch? Vertical stretch, right? And a vertical stretch means it changes y value. Yes. So these all get multiplied by two. So because let me talk you through this a little bit. Okay. If I put a, a 1 in for the x, 2 to what power is 1, guys? 0 times 2 is still 0. So when we multiply the y by 2, you see that that one doesn't change? Okay. If I put um, a 2 in for the x, look up here, put a 2 in right here, what's log base 2 of 2? 1 times 2 would be... So that was this ordered pair right here, 2, 1, but it got stretched up. All right. If I put a 4 in, log base 2 of 4 is 2 times 2 is. So that's this ordered pair, but it got stretched. We won't worry about that one. If I put a 1 half in, what's log base 2 of 1 half? Negative 1 times 2 is. Okay. So it's the same shape, it's just going a little bit steeper. And there's not a stretch on the quiz, okay? So if you want to cross, I'm not going to collect this worksheet. If you want to cross the two off and just plot what we talked about here, it's all dandy. Dandy, sorry, did I use a bad word? Or a weird word for you? Okay. So whether the two is out there or not, you get the same shape. Just stretched a little bit. Okay, so what are the domain and range? And the asymptote, the y-axis or x equals 0, and the intercept this time is at 1, 0. Yes. Yes, yes. Yep. It would have been through 2, 1, 4, 2, and 8, 3. And you can't tell the other direction much because it's so close to the axis anyway. Does that help? Yeah. Like this one, um, if we did over 8, it would have been up at 6, which actually I did a fairly decent job. Okay. Twice as far from the y-axis. Yep, that's a great... A great question. What else, guys? Remember, I'm only doing what you ask. Six. <clears throat> okay, this was the original question, and it says reflect it over the x-axis and move it down three. So if it just said f of x, guys, what would those two things become? Negative in front. Outside. Uh, minus three outside. Okay. So we're doing that to this. Ideas? And you would need to put parentheses there so that I knew it wasn't a uh, right shift, right? Do we need to go back and do two? Was there another one like this up above? So if you were flipping to the last, Yes. Um, the horizontal, this shift goes on to the X, right? So it would be 4 to the X plus 3. And minus 8 goes where, though? Yeah, down here. So you could write it like that. I probably, like you guys said, would have put that up there or something. Everybody okay? Um, can I talk about three and four just because I'm worried? Because you're supposed to leave an X in these. Do you see that? Did anybody do this, their homework? <laughs> 738 bears decreasing in annual rate, 4.2% where X is the number of years since 2010. Mm 
And you don't, you could simplify in the parentheses, but you don't need to. I'm fine. That's because it's a no calculator quiz, right? So I'm just asking you to set it up. Okay. Yes. You can use both the yellow cheat sheet and the blue cube root, square root thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, no. It was a table of squares and cubes and fourths. <clears throat> what you can't do, and I'm going to be checking, guys, is you can't have anything extra written, okay? You need to have memorized things like means, right? Nobody's going to write that on their card because I will take your whole card away and you won't get one. Okay, go ahead. Anybody want to do this one? Okay, it says compounded quarterly. So we got to go over four. Yes, don't leave the four off up there. Good job. So as long as you get to use your card, you can do that one. Okay. Now I feel like we've done the whole front side. No? Okay. Do you need me to do these two or you got this? What is seven? And eight is of what? Guys, can you be careful to write exponents clearly in the exponent and subscripts clearly as a subscript and not make it so big that I can't tell what's going on if it's a subscript or whatever? D d sorry, everybody good? Can I go? All right. Which one? Okay. These you can all check on your calculator, right? You should. You'd have to do without a calculator. What's the one everybody's going to get wrong? What is the answer? Okay. No solution. Not possible. It's okay to write this because in other system there is a solution and it, that's what your calculator says. But I'd be fine with not possible or no solution as well. Which one? 15. Anybody? We can do it in little steps. What's this? Square root of m. This is because this is the only thing that's divided ariana this helps me think about it because i could rearrange this oh that's supposed to be log yes or they both would have said minus and then they would have both been on the bottom okay does that help um because what i started to say is you because it's adding, you could have written it this way. And then Hannah, is that your question? What was your question? Yes. Guys, you can put M and B in the same square root, right? Okay. We good? I suppose we should do something, but I'm not going to worry about it. No. No. <clears throat> 14. Can anybody try that one? Are we okay? This is like we could take out a negative here, and then it would say maybe that if we took a negative out of those two. So then it would mean multiply them together, but this means they both belong on 
dividing. Does that help you understand how it works? All right, I'm just going to get this out of here so no one sees it later and is like, what does that mean? Okay. These are pretty easy. Yes, do you need, let's just do 16. I'm going to assume, well, I don't know. Help me. Anybody want me to do these? Sure. Yeah. What do you get? Plus, good. It's a fourth root, right? Is that what it says? Okay. Are you okay, Lissa? Okay. Anybody confused? What's the trick on 17? Both of these need to be minus, right? Okay. So who wants to do 17? Sam, can you do 17? Is that what you're saying? This is just log base 10, right? Okay. And we got to be careful because the 4 really only goes with the X. But the 9 is separate. So how do we deal with the 9? Okay. You're good. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, you're good. I got gotcha. you. I would not have done that order, but he's perfectly right. I would have put log 9 plus 4 log x, but it's addition, so it doesn't matter, right? Yes. I would accept that, yes. So her question, let me just rewrite it real fast. If we wrote, oh, going to sneeze. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. The microphone just exploded. Sorry. So we could have said minus and then a parenthesis log 8 plus 2 log y. Did I write that right now, guys? Yeah. So these are multiplied together, but both in the denominator. Okay, so either one works. Is that it? Um, yep, we can do these. Okay, guys. All right. I'm going to move this out in front first. I don't know if that's how everybody would do it. Well, I certainly wouldn't try to square 25 without a calculator first. Oh, I suppose if you got a blue sheet. Okay. Anyway, I would have moved the two out front. And I don't think there's one this big on the quiz. But this I can do. 5 to what power is 25? So then it just becomes... Everybody okay? Is that better? Okay. This is 2 to what power is, well, what's the square root of 16? So, what about this? 4 times 3 to what power is 9? That's a 2. Minus 5 times, oh, can I move that 5 out in front? So I got a 5, that'll be a 25. Times 3 to what power is 3 would just be 1. So I have 8 minus 25. Uh, what is this? How about if we move this out in front? 5. 
log base 2 of 64 to the what? One third. Can I just get rid of that one third and move him out front? One third times five times two to what power is 64? Six. Yes. Yes. The cube root of 64 is 4. We could have just simplified that, right? We'll get the same answer, though. We should. Let me see. Okay. So I have, well, this is 30 times a third would be 10, right? Okay. So what she did, because she's smarter than me, she said cube root of 64 is just 4. 2 to what power is 4? All that became 2 times the 5 out front was 10. I made it complicated. Good job. Oh, I'm going to cry if more of you don't get this right this time. Multiply through by the common denominator. Do not get a common denominator and then decide what to do with it later. No, just multiply through by it. What are we going to multiply through by? That work? Okay. 6x. 6x, 6x. So 3x goes into 6x, and we had a 4. 3 goes into 6x, and there was a 1, which isn't real complicated. And 6x goes into 6x. Okay, so I have 8 equals 2x minus 5. This is where I will get two thirteenths right, from someone. Yes, show your steps. Don't skip steps and then make silly little mistakes at the end. We good? What would not have worked here? Right, because there was an X in the denominator, we couldn't have had zero. All right, what about this guy? Okay, I'm going to write it out because I don't really have room. Multiply by a 4 and an x plus 3. Multiply by a 4 and an x plus 3. Multiply by a 4 and an x plus 3. Okay, guys, what happens? Okay, some of you are able to distribute along the way. That's great. I would probably manage to mess it up. I might even manage to mess it up now. Okay, zero equals. I got an x squared over here. 12x and 3x is 15, but I got to subtract four of them over there. Did I skip too many steps? Okay. All only constant I have is an 8. Oh, I'm adding 16, though. Okay. It should factor. There's a hint, guys. Okay, if it doesn't, then you probably made a mistake somewhere. Okay, I get negative 8 and negative 3. But back here, x cannot be negative 3. So this is extraneous. And you don't have to write, they just have to tell me only a negative 8 works. Okay. Guys, two suggestions. One, for relaxation tonight. This says color at the top. So do this side that has the squares on it. Do you remember I passed this out yesterday or it was at the... Practice a little bit. It's matching, like this one here, ln of x cubed y to the fifth. That should be 3 ln of x plus 5 ln of y. Do you find that somewhere? Right there, right? 
So color those the same. I just did. <laughs> All right, guys, one more thing before I stop the recording. Worksheet 7 is just all full of fun getting ready for the quiz. Guys, worksheet 3 would, er, 7, 7, I lied. Worksheet 7, oh, would be really good practice. What does this mean? That's the way CUDA program does that. The program I use to make some of these worksheets, it does this instead of what? One half, yes, one half, and one half. What does that mean? Yeah, it's the log of A times B times C all. I mean, you. it doesn't, here only two of them are, but this, no, no, I, I didn't put the coloring on the homework check, and I didn't put worksheet seven on the homework check. Okay, the, shh, guys, one more thing. Before you leave today, make sure you have a picture of worksheet seven so you can check your answers, okay? I'll remind, there's a couple that aren't, like, these where you have to actually find something aren't on the quiz because they would require a calculator. But I'll try to ask Miss uh, Bruzo to make sure she posted in the stream the key to this. But we good? Here's my colored one if anybody wants to take a picture of that one. 